Hello and welcome to our channel. That's Dave and I'm Luz and Dave's been at it again. Yeah, I might have bought something on Impulse again, but this time I think it might be something pretty useful. Ah. <laughs> For once. <laughs> <laughs> So I really love flicking through my cards and binders. Like, there's just something about flicking page after page and seeing all those cards laid out. It just, that's just what I really love. But long-term storage is one of those things that I'm always really worried about. Like, sticking my cards in a binder, I'm always worried that it, they're gonna get damaged, they're gonna start curling, they're gonna start bending. Like, mm. is it enough? When you're now, you know, I've got cards that are 20, 25 years old and need to be thinking about keeping them safe. Yeah. And we've got shoe boxes with cards in top loaders, haven't we? Like waiting to go into binders. But it's but, just not the same as thumbing through no, them, is it? No, <laughs> it's really not. Like, the, it's not the same. You get the shoe box out and you put it on the table and you flick it. And it's just, there's just something about having cards in a binder and, and not just stowed away in a box somewhere. But that's where this comes in. Is this your present? This is my present to myself. <laughs> I mean, it has admittedly just been my birthday. So, you know, happy birthday to me. Ha! <laughs> But this is the gem loader. And um, despite being quite large, <laughs> <laughs> it's also a little bit special. So this actually allows you to put top loaders in a binder. It's quite cool. It is pretty cool. It's really different. I honestly haven't seen anything quite like this. I've heard of things, but I haven't seen any that you can get at the minute. Especially in Europe. Especially, yeah, especially in the UK, in Europe. So then, show us this beauty. <laughs> <laughs> With pleasure. <laughs> no. <laughs> right then. So it is very similar to a lot of binders that we've probably seen before. So it has that three by three layout. Um, you know, there's plenty of pages in there. We'll put all that information on the screen. But the really, really, really cool thing about it is that it is built to take top loaders and just just look at it. It looks amazing. The, the pages um, are really good quality as well. Like the, the plastic is really clear. You don't get any of that kind of matting that you sometimes get with some binders. They, they don't mute the colors at all. And um, although, yeah, we've got lights on and stuff, it really does seem to make the colours pop on them, which is like really nice. It's the nice. black background. I mean, a lot of binders do have a back background. They do now, don't they? Black background. <laughs> it's a good tongue twister. But also, it's nice and secure. Yeah. Like, I don't feel like I'm going to go through your cars and fold them accidentally. And, no. you know. God, could you imagine if you're going through a traditional binder with like, especially with loose leaf pages in them as well, and you just get it slightly wrong and you just, be Ooh. it is really secure in here. So they are side loading pages uh, and I'm a, a full convert to side loading binders now. I always traditionally had top loaders. I think that's the problem with mine. It's a top mm -hmm. loader. So like you push the pages and like you pull the pages and the card kind of bobs out. You do get a bit of weight in it, you, you do get a bit of droop on the pages, but when the uh, binder is actually closed and done up, it's really not an issue and it's it's not going to give you that same sag that the ring binders do with the, the loose pages where the, the cards can sit on each other and sit on the, the, the whatever you're leaning them on and that can, uh, I think, is where we kind of worry that there's going to be some curling and, and all things like that. Yeah. Happening. So you have that kind of best of both worlds where your cards are in top loaders, they're nice and secure, but they're in a binder. And it's got a zip as well. And it does have a zip as well. So you can, once you're done, you can close it up, zip it away. And if you're someone like me and you happen to drop things a lot, you're not gonna do anything to this. I mean, you would have to want to damage a card in this binder to damage a card in this binder. <laughs> Yeah, you'd have to be quite malicious, wouldn't you? <laughs> so Ultra Pro are, at least in Europe anyway, 
and around about March time bringing out loose leaf pages for binders, oh, for yeah, standard yeah, yeah. three-wing binders. Yeah, that are gonna take top loaders. They are two by two, so you're gonna have four a page. Um, but I just feel like this is but such a better option. You got, yeah, because four by four, you don't really get a lot of viewing space really. as you're turning. You just and it's nice to have them all in a row, all your cards. I like. think so, and especially like with the uh, Wizards of the Coast era cards as well. Like they just look good in a three by three nine page binder. It's like they obviously were sort of made with that in mind because you get a lot of things like these, which are the of the era uh, Wizards of the Coast binders, um, and they are designed to take nine page pockets, uh, nine page pocket pages, nine pocket, nine? <laughs> <laughs> nine pocket pages? <laughs> nine pocket pages. The card sets of that era just look good in nine pocket pages. Like they, they, the layout of the cards, the way they're organized, just look really, really good. I'm not so keen on the new 12 pocket pages. What do you think about that? I don't know, I think they work for the late, some of the latest releases, especially mm. when you consider you've got reverse hollows and non-hollows <laughs> yeah, to yeah. put on the same page. So and you can have two rares. side by side. So I think that could work. We don't really have a set of them to Try we're it out, on it. we're working on that. So you had a lot of fun loading this up last week, didn't you? Oh, didn't I? <laughs> so I didn't have these cards in top loaders already. So as you can imagine, loading each and every single one into a top loader, into here, it was interesting. It's always nice to get to review your cards. You enjoyed it, really. <laughs> I really did. I can't even gloss that one up. Like, I love nerding out on actually, like, the the collecting and storing of cards and different kind of types of binders and I think that's why I ended up buying this really because I was just like yep that's new I'm having it. There are a couple of things I think that are worth noting about this. Make sure you buy regular size top loaders. Don't buy premium thick ones for any reason. I didn't listen to my own advice there uh, and this is how come I know it so I actually bought the Ultra Pro Premium top loaders which are uh, a little bit thicker not much I mean it's isn't it like millimeters I don't think it's if, even technically even that. that but I did struggle in the pockets to get them all the way in so just bear that in mind there's also one thing about it that's worth mentioning isn't there <laughs> I mean could it be the size oh look where have I gone <laughs> I mean good, goodbye Lucy you know like good goodbye <laughs> it is it's big okay um, in fact, I spent yesterday reorganizing our bookshelf to actually be able to fit this on. It's that big. <laughs> it is a necessary downfall. It really. really is. I know you've got one thing that you're not too keen on about it. <laughs> I don't like the color pattern. I mean, it comes in other colors, doesn't it? One, it comes in blue or this one, which is the gray. See, I say this is blue, <laughs> so I don't know who's wrong. I'd say this is more of a slate gray. Yeah. This is my illustrator that's coming out that's now. True. But see, I would say this is more of a slate gray, but it looks a bit like school photo backgrounds. Yeah, it does kind of look like- and That's a, all I can think of when I look at it. <laughs> yeah, it does kind of look like a photo album you would see on like your grandparents' shelf with like wedding photos in it. It honestly doesn't offend me. I don't love it. I also don't hate it. I think it looks quite grown up. Um, the logo, if you can't see it, is nicely embossed into the surface. It feels really nice. It does feel nice though. It, it does, really does. Like, it's... it's one of those things you feel like if you were people that aren't us and had a nice big house with a nice big coffee table that you had in your lounge, which we're really not those people, then I feel like you could have this displayed and have your premium collection, you know, have your favorite cards, whatever you want to display in it, out on that coffee table and it looks impressive, it looks nice, it's a, it's a weighty tome, you know, you can... Oof. <laughs> it's got, it's got some heft, especially when you start loading it up with the top loaders themselves, it's got some weight to it, it feels good, but yeah, 
I agree. I would love to see some like solid colors even. Yeah, solid colors. Maybe even some slightly different surface finishes and but one of the things that I also really like about this, it is ran by an independent it out, running out of Europe. They ship worldwide. Um, it's not some big mega corporation that's pumping these out. So price wise. Yeah. So there's a couple of things about it. The binder itself is priced pretty good for a premium binder. So you're looking at roughly about 47 pounds sterling and you look at that that kind of equates to about 55 dollars for americans however there is one big thing about that and this is one thing that i found when when doing it last weekend and getting ready to load my cards in here is that you also do need to factor in the price of the top loaders yeah if you don't already have them you've got to buy them haven't you exactly that's, how many does it hold 216 cards so that's a lot of top loaders. Yeah, if you don't um, already have them, you've got a fork out for them as well, haven't you? You do. I ended up having to buy 175 um, seven packs worth of top loaders to do uh, to do to, to fill out what I want to put in here. Um, and as you can imagine, that's a fairly significant cost on top of the cost of the binder. So is it worth it? Yeah, honestly. For the peace of mind, the security that it offers, and the ability to actually look at your cards, because let's face it, that's why we collect these things, isn't it? Yeah, what's the point of having them if you're not going to look at them? Exactly. So put all of those things together, yeah, absolutely. I think it's really <laughs> worth it. And I actually am uh, really, really, really happy that I got one of these, and I'm probably going to be getting more just that's, that's good. Pre-warning. <laughs> <laughs> that's your money. Uh, if you want more information about it, the gem loader, uh, there'll be a link be below. Below. Somewhere. If you're interested in finding out more about us, we did a Q&A last time. If you haven't seen it, you should probably check it out. We'll put a link somewhere else as well. With some only marginally controversial opinions. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> so that's a goodbye from me. Um, bye from me. Bye. bye.